Hi, I'm Mark Duncan and welcome to LVI TV, your weekly dental news source. Today I'm going to hit you with a couple of interesting news stories, starting off with a really scary one, throat cancer. In a study taken from a cancer registry of 180,000 patients, some interesting things were uncovered. Turns out in 2013, there were 25,000 new cases of throat cancer diagnosed, and there's also a frighteningly sharp increase in the number of reported cases from 83 to 2002. For females, there's also an increase of oral and lung cancer uh, associated with smoking, and with males, it was just oral pharyngeal cancer. The other cancers were on a decrease, which is good, but it may be related to HPV. And so maybe the HPV vaccine is not just for our daughters. In another story, there's a diabetes breathalyzer. November 14th was World Diabetes Day, and a device was released using thin film polymers to detect acetones in the breath. At only nanometers thick, these thin sheets of film react with acetones, and that can be used to quantify the blood glucose levels without finger sticks and without blood draws. Much easier for the patients. Now, some scary things about diabetes, 371 million people worldwide are diagnosed, and over 24 million in the U.S. alone. About 200 million have been estimated to have undiagnosed diabetes, which is like 150% of what we just talked about. That means we're looking at about half a billion people worldwide that have diabetes. Maybe it's time for us to do something to help. In 2012, about 5 million people died from diabetes and half were less than 60 years old. For the diagnosed patients who are dealing with diabetes, they often have a support team that includes a ton of people. You've got an endocrinologist, a podiatrist, a nutritionist, a psychologist, your eye doctor, a social worker, everybody that you need, but there's no dentist and no hygienist. For over a decade, forward-thinking hygienists and dentists have screened for things like HbA1c and they've educated the patients, but finally there's a way to screen patients without doing blood draws and without doing finger sticks. For those who have tried to ignore the biofilm issue and the systemic impact of periodontal disease, there are several problems that untreated perio causes. Obviously, you stink like death when you open your mouth, but that's because your mouth is full of dead and rotting filth. That filth creates an inflammatory reaction for the body, causes it to systemically treat the cesspool that is your mouth. This leads to poor blood sugar management and starts the downward spiral. Like every disease we suffer with, the earlier we catch this, the better our results will be. It's hard to come up with an easier or simpler test than just breathe into a machine. So screening and early intervention are just a couple puffs away. I know the rapidly emerging nanotechnology is almost science fiction. However, you're going to hear a lot more about that from me very soon. Obviously, treating diabetes is beyond the scope of practice, but do you think it's a dentist's place to screen for diabetes? Let us know in the comments down below. While you're down there, don't forget to like our video, subscribe to LVI TV. I'm Mark Duncan. have such a wealth of knowledge that you can pick up little pearls here and there, that's when you really see how much you don't know. Ever wonder why it's bad for the environment, but it's okay for the oral environment? The report explains that mercury-free alternatives